Shalom, Yeshua. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praises and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Ba'ashem, Recha Kodash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, peace and blessing to the Ophelia Akim, that preach the word in all truth and sincerity, alone she is like foreigner brothers that like the heathens, but the line of false side goes back to the nation of Israel, which nation of Israel are you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, through the prophecies and curses of Deuteronomy 28 chapter, and throughout the Bible. So this is Brother Yacol, a mouth for the lesson, and um, today's lesson will be entitled, uh, Many Sorrows Shall Be to the Wicked. I was going to go on some precepts, and uh, Lord willing, you brothers, and if your sister out there, be edified through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shimon Shai. You know, because, um, you know, we live in a world, you know, where the ungodly prospers. You know, as it says in the book of Psalms, the 73rd chapter, you know, and, you know, which are these people of the world, beginning you know, when Esau eat them, and they think that they would never, they would never be judged. They would never be in a lower state, you know, and they have, uh, you know, have been greatly deceived by their own bad opinion of themselves. So... Um, I just wanted to go into a lesson in regards to that. And um I'm gonna start with the book of Psalms chapter thirty two and verse ten and it reads many sorrows shall be to the wicked, right? You know, so let's define the word sorrows. It's uh from the Hebrew word uh ma ma kaab, ma kaab, which means pain, you know, sorrow, pain physically, pain mentally, because the Lord is gonna afflict these people with pain and agony very soon in Jacob's trouble, man, the Lord's going to make these people suffer, you know, going, uh, uh, dying of famine and pestilences and the race wars and having that, uh, uh, mentally pain, you know, you're not being able to know where the next meal going to be, man, you know, you being in the FEMA camps, you know, because when you read Second Edges 8 and 50, it says, for many great miseries shall be done to them, that in a lot of time shall do on the world because they have walked in great pride, man, because the Lord is doing all this to fulfill prophecy because, you know, it's prophecy that America will be destroyed, you know, but before it be destroyed, Jacob show will come, you know, and another reason why the Lord is bringing this is because the people have walked in great pride, man, you know, which pride is when one departed from the Most High and his heart is turned away from his maker, as is written, you know, so... Those many great miseries is going to be these. In Sirach 49, death and bloodshed, strife and sword, calamities, famine, tribulation, and the scourge. You know, uh, so those are the many sorrows. And people already experience sorrows right now with the inflation, the debt crisis, the higher cost of living. You know, people are getting sick. You know, um, people are on edge these days, man. You know, people setting fires randomly. You know, um, it's contention at the work, work, uh, workplace, at the workforce. So all these people, they already suffer sorrows on a low level by way of this inflation, the higher cost of living. But the Lord is going to intensify in Jacob's trouble, you know, because the Lord is going to put the spirit on Esau to uh, 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 shut this place down, man. You know, it says... Um, Verse 10, these things are created for the wicked and for their saints came to flood. So all these uh, judgments and plagues, they are created for the wicked, not for the righteous. You know, even though the righteous, the elect, they will be in the midst of these plagues. But, you know, as, as the scriptures say, no plague shall come down that dwelling. So the elect, they're going to have the hedge protection and they're going to be taken care of. But going back to Psalm 32 and 10, many sorrows shall be to the wicked. But he that trusts in the Lord Yahweh, mercy shall compass him about, man. And that's going to apply to the elect. You know, because the elect are going to be the only ones that's going to trust in Yahweh by Shimon Shai wholeheartedly. You know, and the mercy is going to pass, it's going to compass him about because the Lord is going to grant them, you know, food and water in the time of famine, shelter, raiment, you know, uh, getting, getting the hedge. You know, the Lord is going to test his elect, but, hey, the elect, you know, is, is going to overcome.
you know, because it's already written that the elect is going to overcome through the blood of Yahweh Shah, you know, the blood of the Lamb, you know, so, um, so yeah, man, so it's not going to end well for, because right now it may seem, you know, I just get that scripture since I quoted it earlier, because right now the wicked is prospering, you know, and uh, when you go to Psalm 73, verse 3, it says, For I was envious at the foolish when I saw the prosperity of the wicked. Yeah, so this is a sign of Asaph. So, yeah, so sometimes I can, you know, we can, um, you know, we can be angry and be envious. Like, man, like, why is all these wicked people, they prospering? They got the nicest cars, the nicest houses. You know, they got all this money. They don't got to worry about bills. and You know, so sometimes we can be envious at that, but we always got to remind ourselves that, hey, it's going to, all that, you know, they, they worship Satan to get all that, you know, and it's going to come to a screeching halt very soon, you know, because the Lord's going to humble them. It says, when I saw the prosperity of the wicked, so, you know, the scriptures speak about the prosperity of the wicked, man, you know, because time and chance happened to them all. The Lord is so righteous, he even gave Esau a kingdom, you know, which the Edomites, they are the so-called white people, they are the people whom the Lord hates, despises greatly. You know, but it was prophecy that Esau would have a kingdom. So, you know, the Lord is so righteous and so fair and just. You know, he even gave the wicked rulerships. He, he gave all these heathens kingdoms at some point in time in history. You know, so, but when you go to Ecclesiastes 9-11, I return, saw so the son, that the race is not to the swift, nor bowed to the strong, nor yet bred to the wise, nor yet riches to men of understanding nor yet favor to men of skill but time and chance happened to them all so time the Lord gave everybody on earth a time and chance to be prosperous in their life you know so the Lord gave a time and chance for the wicked to prosper in, the, in, in this kingdom you know but it's not it's not for eternity it's short lived so you know they, they're going to be destroyed in the latter end of it of their prosperity. You begin on with the Elisa, the Elisa Esau, you know. But, hey, you know, all we got to do is wait for the Lord. And like I was saying, it's not going to end well for them, man. You know, it, it may they may seem secure right now. But in the time of Jacob's trouble, the wicked is not going to have a hedge, man. Um, please, ask, uh, please ask, he's eight. In verse um, 11. It says, because sentence against the evil work is not executed speedily. Yeah, so example will be adultery, right? You know, we know according to law, uh, adultery is a sin punishable unto death, you know? So, a lot of people have uh, done adultery. A man slept with another man's woman or a woman slept with another man outside her husband. So, they didn't, they didn't get judged. Uh, immediately after that, after they committed the act of adultery, you know, so it says, therefore, the heart of the sons of men, and that's just one example of a of a of a, of a, a sin, a great sin. Therefore, the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. Yeah, so it's fully set in them to do evil because they haven't been judged for that act, for these wicked acts that they do, because not knowing the Lord is just you know. Letting them pile up their iniquities so that judgment can be great. It says, verse 12, though a sinner doing evil a hundred times, and his days be prolonged. So, you know, Esau, he's a man of sin. So he does, he has done evil a hundred times. You know, I mean, you know, not to just coin an exact amount of times, but the scriptures say he's a man of sin. So he does, he has done evil greatly in the earth. You know, and his days have been prolonged. He haven't been judged. The Lord is is uh, reserving the wicked until the day of destruction, as is written. Yet surely I know that it shall be well with them that fear you, how which fear before them. So it's going to be well with those that fear the Lord, which are the elect. You know, because when judgment day comes, Jacob's trouble come. you know, it's going to be well with the elect because they're going to be delivered. But it's not going to be well, I was going to say verse 13, but it shall not be well with the wicked. So it's not going to be well with them, man, even though they're being, they are uh, prospering right now. But at the latter end, it's not going to end well for them because they're going to be destroyed, you know, like, like a fire 
or do the Lord, uh, or the Lord's going to have them die in a, in a place to take a shovel. You know, so it's not going to end well for them, man. You know, you know, for these women that's in, in that feminine spirit, that independent spirit, it's not going to end well for them. You know, because they don't need a man, for, a man and Lord to protect them. And a lot of these women, these times, they're going to be getting shunned off. You know, uh, man and Lord not going to want to deal with a lot of you women. You just like women because you, cause of your pride, man. You know, but it is written that some of the elect lady, you know, it's like women will be saved through the elect men. You know, so it is written that because um, Isaiah 4 and 1 has to come to pass. You know, so, you know, but it's going to be a lot of women that's going to be taken out because of the weakness. Neither shall he prolong his days, <clears throat> which are as a shadow because he feared not before the Most High, man. So the Lord is going to, you know, it's not going to end well for the wicked man. The Lord is going to destroy them in the latter end. And many saws gonna is 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 compassing them right now, but many saws gonna is gonna greatly compass them and take a trouble. And, and and there's gonna be no way they're gonna be able to escape. You know, to deliver themselves from the power of the Lord, man, from the from the wrath of the Lord. Uh, Deuteronomy thirty two and thirty nine, see now that I, even I am he, and there is no God with me. I kill and I make alive, I wound, I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver it out of my hands. So, you know, so it's not going to end well for these wicked people. It's going to end well for the elect, but not for these wicked people. And they're not going to be able to deliver themselves out of the Lord's wrath. So, you know, Lord will I act with that fire. And uh, until next time, Shalom.